I found my opening credits. I completely, of course, I would mess this up right before I go to my very last fact. Oh my Jesus. Everything's falling. <laughs> I dropped the camera and I don't even know how. Hey guys, Ali here, and yes, I'm in my pajamas. Yes, it's laid out. I'm sorry for this video. Oh, stop focused. Okay. I'm filming this video very late because by the time y'all are be watching this, I'll be at the aquarium with my best friend. And um, so I'm sorry about this kind of video. I meant to film this last week, but. Um, Issues, well not issues, just things are going on, I couldn't film. I haven't been able to film for the past few weeks because of school. My hair is a little wet because I just took a shower before bed. And yes, it's before bed. It's 10 o'clock, but it's before bed, but it's also spring break. So, I gotta fix it later. So, um, if you guys didn't know, I just turned 18 last Tuesday on the 11th of April. And... I decided to give you 18 new facts about me that you may not know and some of these even my friends and my best friend don't know so I have the list on my phone here and I will be telling you 18 facts and I may stop counting halfway through because when I tried to film this the first time I lost count at like number six so Lego fact number one about me I cuss a shit ton See the irony in that I cuss a lot I, I, I've been cussing since third grade um, I, I blame private school for all that because we've been sheltered so a lot of us do but a lot of us don't do I do I learned over the years how to censor myself I don't cuss at school or at least I try not to and if I do it just it absolutely it accidentally slips out but I don't really cuss at home unless I'm in the privacy of my own room which I am right now. My mother is asleep, so. Fact number two, I am obsessed with murder mysteries. Murder mysteries, like, like I don't know why I blame my brother for making me watch Japanese murder mysteries when I was little, but I'm obsessed. And I like watching shows of murder mysteries. I like reading about murder mysteries. Like murder mysteries are my bedtime story. I could watch 15 a whole entire season of criminal minds before bed and go to sleep fine Unless I go to the bathroom because that's those stairs Scare me, but that's a whole nother story for a whole nother uh, It's a whole nother story for a whole nother reason and I may show you guys one day before I move out to college By the way, I'm, in I'm going to college next year. I got in and I accepted my decision um, Just gotta fix something and I can move Fact number three, I am a, well not a diehard science nerd, but I just, I'm in love with science. I'm a science girl, I'm sorry. Um, I don't know why, my favorite time of the school year was always science fair time, which people hated. I would block off my mom's living room at my old house for the entire month of January and part of February while I was getting ready for my science fair project. I would put caution tape, I would have all my stuff in, like on the floor just ready to go. My favorite subject, if anyone wants to know, which you probably don't, but I'm going to do it anyway, is chemistry because that's what I want to major in and I most likely will in college. So break. Oh, I'm almost out. Oh, but close this school stuff. Fact number four about me, I've gone to private school my entire life. Well, actually, I've gone to Catholic school my entire life. So, so yeah, from kindergarten to 12th grade. So, um, the school I'm going to next year for college is a Christian school and a, 
is still again a private school, but it's different than the other schools I've, to the other two schools I've gone to. My middle school, my high school. So, yeah, I'm not that religious. I'm just like minorly religious. I don't know. That's that's another story from another video. So maybe I'll make a. I'll explain that. Maybe I won't. I don't want. I don't know yet. <clears throat> Fact number five. I dropped out of preschool. Now, um, my mom put me in preschool for a week, and by the end of that week, I was like, I am done. I cannot do this anymore. I didn't like nap time. Well, I did like nap time in kindergarten. I just didn't like nap time because I had to sleep with other children in the room, like colorful mats. Um, the only thing I liked about that entire week at preschool was that we got ice cream on a Friday, and that's all I cared about. But I, I think I wasn't ready to be with other children because everyone in my house at that time when I was growing up was an adult because all my siblings were, well, not everyone, but they're like a lot older than me. So I, got, I just didn't want to mess around with little kids for a while. But then my mom's like, you have to go to kindergarten, you have to stay in kindergarten. So I was like, okay. But I was homeschooled for the rest of that school year. So, yeah. That's also another story for another day. Fact number six, and this goes along with fact number four. Because I've attended private school my entire life, I barely know how to dress properly. Like, I have no sense of style whatsoever. My style is, is that of a tomboy, except for what I want to wear on Monday, but I don't know if I'll feel it Monday. Um, I, I think now with the internet, well, I mean, I've always been on the internet since age five, but now because I know what to look on the internet, I know how to dress because I can do polymore outfits pretty well. I know how to dress, I know how to dress other people, I just don't know how to dress myself, so, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do in college. Probably sweatpants and stuff for the, my entire rest of my life until I have to get a job. Unless I get a job at YouTube where I could just wear my pajamas on camera if I want to. Or if I act because then other people will dress me. <clears throat> Fact number seven. I used to be this dorky, quiet, well I'm so quiet, but I used to be like this dorky, funny person. But now with high school, I'm more like a rebellious and sarcastic and still funny, just like sarcastic kind of funny if you feel me like since between eighth grade to now I've changed so much that I look like at pictures or videos I have of myself when I was little and I'm like there's no way that was me I mean I I've changed but that's that's how life goes I mean I guess the other people my face hasn't changed because I got recognized from someone who I haven't seen since second grade, but that's also another story from another day. I should just do like one big story time video because all my stories are really short, but they're uh, they're worthy enough. Fact number eight: I am a musical nerd. I love watching musicals. I like performing them in my bedroom and in my car with my best friend because whenever we go somewhere, I always happen to have a I always happen to have a musical that we both know playing in the CD when I'm driving back to my house or driving to the mall or somewhere. Um, I love watching them live. Some I love watching on the DVD version. Sometimes the live version's better. Um, of course, like everyone else, I'm obsessed with Hamilton, but then I'm also obsessed with In the Heights. Um, I'm trying to detox from Hamilton because I may get to see them in December. Not sure yet, hopefully if I get tickets because they're coming down to California. So just detoxing just in case. Because I don't want to be that one person. Well I'm not gonna be that one person, but I don't wanna be that person that's singing in the middle of the theater while everyone else is watching because I can't contain myself. Fact number nine. I used to be that girl in middle school, well like kindergarten through eighth grade, that I would remind the teacher if they forgot their if they forgot to collect the homework like it was <laughs> i don't think anyone hate me for it but i used to do my homework like religiously and i still do my homework it's just it's more of a hassle to do it but i used to like the first thing i did when i got home was like 
I changed out of my uniform. Sometimes I didn't even change out of my uniform. I just go sat at the table, did my homework, grabbed a snack, finished my homework, and then went to sleep. I had no life in middle school until junior high. That's when I got a life in. My life still consists of things just me watching Netflix. I blame my mom because she bought Netflix when I was in the sixth grade. No, she bought it when in fifth grade. That's when my life went downhill. Netflix. Thanks a lot. I still love you, Netflix. Give me a promo deal. Put me on a show. Fact number 10, I am in love with traveling, but I have never been out of the country. I love I love airplane rides, I love train rides, I love car rides. Um, I've not really been on a boat. I've been on the Queen Mary and I went on a whale rock watching trip. Um, I don't know, I, I, I think I may have a minor fear of like open, deep ocean, but I've been on a boat actually, but on a lake, just not like traveling from one part of the world to another part. I, I love to travel across the world to uh, certain countries. I have on this big list of countries I want to visit and things I want to do. Um, thing is too, I don't have a passport so I need to get that now that I'm 18. I don't have to wait for anything. I can just do it on my own, which I most likely will. But yeah, I need to travel. Staying in America sometimes gets boring because it's all the same things. My head looks Oh well. Oh my Jesus. I think I deleted my list. Oh thank God. I thought I deleted the list right now. That would suck if I deleted this list halfway through and made made up eight more things. Number 11, I am a bookaholic. I have more books than I know what to do with. Like, my bookshelf is overcrowded with books. I ordered more books after my birthday, which is not the smartest thing I've done. Um, uh, I'm debating getting rid of my bed, my closet, my clothes, and just making it one big library for my entire room and just sleep on the floor. Maybe make my floor a cushion out of books. I don't know yet. I just don't know what I'm going to do. I think I have books under my bed, under my side table, under my dresser. I know I have some in the garage. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with my books anymore. Um, despite how my room looks, and I should, I'll show you this right now because it is a mess. Um, I'm gonna hate myself for putting this on the internet, but despite how my room looks and this is a mess because I was putting my dorm stuff that I started buying in those just two boxes right here I was putting dorm stuff in those two boxes right there and then I was organizing the mess I made for my birthday and getting ready to do my laundry tomorrow Despite that mess, oh wow, I think I moved the camera, the focus a lot. Um, despite all that, I am a very organized person. I make a list. It's just my room is a mess currently, but I'm planning to clean it before Monday because when I get back Monday, I'm going to be so busy next week. I have a college visit. I have so many other things to do. Back. Fact number 13, I have a study blur. It is Slytherin underscore potions blur on Tumblr. And on Instagram, I believe it's it's the same. Oh no, it's Slytherin underscore potions gram. I may put the links in it down bar below, but I'm not sure because those are just my little facial things. You guys can follow me anyway because I told you the ads, but. Yeah, I have a study blur because I'm going to take college seriously. I promised myself that I'm, I, I want to do college right, I want to focus on school, I'm not doing parties or all that. I hate parties anyway. Fact. 
fact number 19 my, some of my favorite movies just happen to be documentaries like right now one of my favorites is um spotlight with mark ruffalo it's about these this the boston school it's about a newspaper i can't remember my book right now because i'm just really tired and um the church this is a thing with the church and priests molesting children it's a really good documentary i recommend it it's on netflix right now um yeah or yeah it's on netflix right now you can watch it and if you do tell me down by below tell me what your thoughts are that are if you want more documentaries i could probably recommend you a few more if that was a thing i could make that a top three video one day too comment down below if you want me to do that by the way i said by the way like 50 times in that one section i'm irritating myself Fact number 15. I read the entirety of the Twilight series in the Twilight Saga in the fifth grade. I would read them in class. Like, I would hide them under my desk and read them in class. And when I got to the fifth book, I didn't know what a pelvis was. And then I asked my friend, they didn't know. And I was like, I'm going to go ask the teacher. And they freaked out because they i don't know why they freaked out they just freaked out and i went to go ask it i realized what a pelvic was or i what a pelvic was or a pelvic book pelvic or pelvis i don't even know anymore um i didn't own the books but now i do and i haven't read them yet i may read them and <sighs> loathe my fifth grade self for reading them but after that i read harry potter so that was okay that's my favorite thing i club behave stop it Fact number 16, I've had a cell phone since I was five years old, so I meant I was in kindergarten, because, uh, okay, well, I didn't, like, start off with, like, a, a cool, badass phone. I had a Go phone, like, the little, I'll put a picture, like, right here, and, um, first grade, I got a pink flip phone, which was just my dad's old flip phone that he glued a pink phone case on, so I wouldn't drop, like, I wouldn't take it off and lose, lose or break the phone. And then I've had I had that since till the third grade, and then I got like a slide kick slide kick phone, and then I had that until no I had yeah I had a slide kick, and then I had a touch screen slide kick until seventh grade when I got my first iPhone, and I've been in the iPhone family ever since. So that's now 13 years with a cell phone, and I regret. No, nothing. I just, I just, I like having cell phones. I didn't use it when I was little. I didn't use it until like fourth grade when some of my other friends started calling me with their house phones, and then they started getting phones. And you know, you think I'd be more social that way, but it's just, I don't know. I just like phones. I don't know what. I'm always playing with my hair. I don't know. It's ten o'clock. I'm, I'm tired. We're almost done, guys. We are almost done. We got two more facts. <sighs> okay. Fact number 17. Since we're speaking of Apple products, um, I am actually a slut for Apple. Um, if they would like to sponsor me for any reason, they can email me. And my email is linked on my page for this channel. Don't email me if you're just going to mess around. And email me for nothing but um yeah i like i've had an ipod since first grade i have like the ipod nano i have it in here it's just i don't feel like going to go look for it right now i've had the ipod touch which has died and i want to get a new one but i don't know if i should because i have a phone a tablet and i may get one because my phone's always running out of space and out my fingers but yeah and then now i have a macbook and i want to get an apple tv i want to get an iMac is just I want to have an Apple life everything I want is Apple so now my screen and everything's off focus great job we are in the last fact and you messed up the whole feeling of the video <sighs> finally fact number 18 I've been watching youtubers since I was 11 I think Hold on, let me check. Yeah, since I was 11, maybe 10 or 9, 
But the first YouTuber I watched was um, Ryan Higa, and I'd watch his tutorial, like tutorials, like how to be gangster, how to be email. Those were the best videos on YouTube. That was my kind of humor when I was little. Now my kind of humor is like, I don't even know what my kind of humor is right now. Probably just sarcastic shit. I don't, I don't even know. But yeah. Um, and then I think <sighs> that summer after fifth grade, I started making my own videos on a different channel, which I've long since deleted. Thank God. If those videos were ever thrown and put on the internet again, I think I'd hate myself and delete this channel. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's it, guys. Um, I need to clean up my room and. I gotta make sure I didn't do permanent damage on what my camera fell on, which was a tripod, and yeah, I'll see you guys on Friday with a brand new top three, I promise. I won't forget, actually, I'm just gonna film it right after this before I do forget. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys on Friday with a new top three, but until then, bye!